This is a Zeiss Axial Vert 100 inverted fluorescence microscope. We've configured this microscope with a 100 watt mercury HBO elimination system and a 100 watt halogen transmitted elimination system. This particular unit we're showing with a camera. You'll have to look at the ad to see if, if it includes a camera or not. This is a firewire cable for the camera. It does have a C-mount attached that, it, that goes with the microscope and this microscope has this port. So we're showing that this microscope is fully capable of taking photos using this port. Other features of this, uh, we have a phase condenser. It has a, this is set on bright field. We can turn it to phase one, turn it to phase two, and back to bright field. The centering for the condenser is through these two knobs. And we have a filter installed daylight filter that's to compensate for the the halogen color daylight blue here's your iris this is the rack this is a knob for racking the condenser up and down We have a stage mounting plate included. You can get different stage mounting plates for these, depending on which type of, which size of petri dish or type of cell culture vessel you may have. This particular unit has an XY stage movement. So you don't just have to slide it around with your hands, you can use the low position XY movement to precisely position the specimen. We've got a variety of objectives. You'll have to look at the ads, the ad to see which objectives are included. power supply for the 100 watt halogen is located internal to the frame. You can compare that to the Axial Vert 35 model, which is a little older model, and it had an external power supply, which, is a little, which was a little cumbersome. You had to make a space for it on the table. This is a much better design. Now the design for the Mercury Illuminator, um, we do have an external power supply for that. And it's just going to connect up with this cord. Connects right to the back of this power supply. There's some adjustment knobs to do the centering. This is for the collector focusing. 
On the back, you can see some openings where you can insert a three millimeter hex screw, hex, hex Allen head wrench, and you can adjust the centering of the bulb. The halogen also has some centering knobs. You can insert a three millimeter hex and adjust the centering screws. The intrapupillary distance, distance, that's the distance between your eyes, can be adjusted far. You just simply turn the, uh, these oculars. You can also rotate this. This knob is for taking the image to either the eyepieces or the trinocular photo port. Turn it one direction and it goes to the photo port with 70% 70, 70 to the photo port, 30% to the eyepieces. So turn it the other direction and it goes 100% to the eyepieces. You have diopters on the eyepieces, both eyepieces. This is to synchronize both eyepieces so that they're in focus at the same time. Each person has a little, especially if you wear eyeglasses, uh, you may have a different setting than the next person. So you may need to adjust it a little differently. But if you look into the eyepieces and one of them is in focus, one is not, just use the diopter on one or both. This is a rather basic model microscope. It's, it's not very complex. Yeah. Price is relatively inexpensive compared to, say, an Axial Vert 200. But this will get a good, decent image. Certainly much better than you're going to get out of the, the cheap Chinese microscopes. If you have any questions, please let us know. We'll be happy to talk to you. Thank you very much.